Now, the Constitution of the United States of America was drafted and discussed by learned men. Their minimum amount of education was about 17 years. That's a lot of education. So I had to look back into their past and they had to draft up a document according to the laws that were on the books. And most of them came from England. The English laws that were on the books followed them to the New World. And they were colonies. They were babies. They were just babies. But they were from the motherland. And there were a lot of other people that came from other countries. Germany, France, all over Europe. People came to the New World. So they wanted to put together a plan and put it into play whereby whatever your choice of religion. Whatever your choice of location, wherever that is, you could express yourself without the fear of somebody taking your life. One of the biggest sins found in the Bible is the one who murders the spirit. The one who prevents you from fulfilling your purpose. The one that doesn't allow you to speak and tell your side of the story. Now back in 1215, the Magna Carta surety barons, and there was a lot more going on to that situation than you can even imagine because 22 of the 25 were related. They decided they didn't want the king pledging them and their people to go off and fight whatever war he wanted to go steal the booty. Yes. Now you got booty and prize. Booty is that property that is captured on land. Prize is that property that is captured at sea. And a while back, wasn't there a song, Shake Your Booty? Booty. Now, if you take a Y off that, it's boot. Boot. Okay, so now back to the Constitution. They followed the guidelines that were laid out for them in the process of electing the Pope. Those were elections. And that process, I believe, came through Germany. We can look at that word, germ, many. So, they came up with a process. The reason they did that is because they knew when you were fully developed, that means when you knew all about this little book. Let me tell you what it says on the cover of this book. It says, Citizen's Rule Book, A Palladium of Liberty. And up here by the flag in an ark, it states where the Spirit of the Lord is. And they're drumming, and they're playing their fife, their flute. You got two drummers. You got one that's common in the middle. 
who's not wearing a uniform and then you've got one that's got a uniform on so see this man in the middle he represents the militia the militia and down at the bottom it says it's a little hard to read this is Liberty 2nd Corinthians so you've got an arc at the top and an arc at the bottom and when you fill in these two sides you have a circle there's a circle of life now underneath it says the Bill of Rights Jury Handbook how could you be a good juror if you're not using prudence and a forethought? The fireworks are in the document itself. Read the Constitution. Exclamation point. They're making a point here. They want to get your attention. This little book will save your life because the Lord is coming they knew the founding fathers were wise men remember the three wise men that brought Jesus the gifts brought him gold frankincense and myrrh well the first gift was gold you don't have any gold so now we have to go back to the beginning and find out why because people in the middle district there is frankincense. Are you frank in your sense by the use of your words? I can tell what your father's seed is. And by the soles of your feet, I can tell where you've walked. And by the words you left behind, I can tell how you think and who you thought of. Now they thought of all of us because they knew that you can't tell people what to do. But they gave us guidelines here and the ability to add to it because Revelations leaves the curse too not to add to this book now a lot of people have made their own versions but when you take somebody's original words and you cut away or you add to you have now changed their intention Now the Founding Fathers knew that their project would not be complete until woman had fully developed and had enough of the nonsense. That's those people who are not frank in their sense. And that word can be broken down several different ways too. The point is, is that we have to stop crucifying Jesus. Every day Jesus is out on that front line. And our sons and our daughters are being blown apart because your politics has gotten a little bit off kilter. Well now we've got to put it back on track we've got to get our course here headed for the star the star in the east see no matter where you are on the planet there's an east there's a west there's a north and there's a south we've got to bring all those directions 
to the right point. Nobody wants to be left out in this new day. They all knew that this was the new world. People come here for asylum because they either cannot express themselves or they've been fingered for death. You gotta quit pointing your finger. That was a hard lesson for me. Because number one, when I was a little girl, I argued with everyone. Because I really didn't feel that there was anyone that had authority over me except God. And my parents. God was acting through my parents. What happened so? when you hit your teenage years, when your body has developed before your mind understands. See, so you've left everything up to the government to solve. You've all sit on your buttons waiting for Jesus to come save you. But Jesus said, Physician, heal thyself. That means every single one of us is a doctor of our own body. And your body tells you when it's had enough. Just like when your feet hurt and you can't walk another step. Your body's telling you, sit down. In fact, that's the way the Lord will humble you in the earth. So we have a lot to learn. And I only have a little bit of time to explain all these things to you. And I want to do my best. So please, if I say something that doesn't agree with you, why don't you just take a minute and ponder it? And see... For sure, go look up the things I'm telling you about. Now, we're not going to put all the blame on the state of Maryland. Because if it wasn't for the people, there wouldn't be a state of Maryland. See, all these borders and things, those are all in your mind. Somebody surveyed that land. Somebody had to learn how to do that. Now that's a picture of something physical. But it's something physical that takes place on the earth that we call Mother Earth. But the ideas and the knowledge came through are people that learned the proper way to use the instruments. Words are instruments. They tell us where your heart is and where your mind is. Be careful what you say. You're speaking your own world into existence. It's nobody's fault but your own if you don't like where you're at. You can't blame that on other people. You gotta go look in the mirror and ask yourself why. Because the natural laws are always in play. God's got a law of gravity. You can't change that. God's also got a law of attraction. So be careful what you think. You may be attracting something that you really don't care for. And it's the same thing with pointing a finger. When you point a finger and you name someone, remember, you got three of them pointing right back at you. Three 
pointing right back at you. So whatever you point out, three folds coming back to make sure you know what you're saying because you're hurting somebody with your words. So now this is the time when we all take a good look at ourselves. and the Constitution of the United States of America which in my opinion is the only source of law for this land and Article 1 Section 10 is universal just like that little LLC, the Federal Reserve note, is universal jurisdiction, but it's based on fraud. Because paper can be burned up, but God's money, you can't burn it up. You can melt it, but it doesn't lose any weight. So think about that. We can't be upset with the Federal Reserve because I just showed you somebody else put themselves as a debtor and a secured party. They made the door swing both ways on themselves and they sent it to the IRS claiming to be a Levi and exempt. Now we can't be mad at this guy. We don't even know if he's real. You gotta put a face on it. And anyway, you can't be mad at him. This person has discovered something that you haven't even considered. They wanna play a paper game. Paper game. Well, the days of that paper game are over. It's time for us to get back down to business. Article 1, Section 10. You say you're part of the public. You need to be the re-public. And the re-public deals in gold and silver coin. I mean it.